Hey, so I'm back, feeling a little bit better. Um, here to talk to you about something that everybody always get all nerdy and geeky about and talk and say a whole bunch of stuff that nobody ever explains or make it simple. I'm gonna to talk to you about SRT. SRT is secure, reliable transport. It's basically you're sending a video signal from one computer to the next computer directly to like their IP address. But the way the video is being transported is, is ultra clear. It's like much more clearer than a video on Zoom or something that you might see on YouTube. Our YouTube use RTMP. You know, some real world applications of SRT is when you see the news people, you know, when they have the, you know, Chris Alvarez reporting live, they are most likely sending an SRT signal over mobile to the station. SRT, you're able to get a really high clear signal without really having to have such a powerful internet stream. And it's a little bit more reliable. That's what the R stands for in SRT. So that's one application, but I wanna really quickly talk about some of the things that we've done, which was cool. So one of the things that we did was we had a three camera concert and we took the concert, the music from that concert stream, sent it to a SRT signal from Wirecast into vMix. For that one, I used the AWS virtual server. So that already set me up with the information. For SRT, you are going straight to an IP address and a open port. That's confusing internet talk. IP address is like the address of the, your internet, the unique numbers that says, this is where this person is at who is receiving information, who's also giving information. And then you need a port that's open. Uh, a port is basically a gate where you can let the signal in and it's a random number so that you really only know, and, or the number that you shared it with somebody. So I used the AWS server, sent the signal to that, and then my client picked up the signal from that server and sent it to his vMix computer and sent, it, sent that concert to Zoom, sent it to all over the places at his job, and it was simple and nice and smooth. So that was one way we did with it, which I thought was cool. And that was really the first time we used that. Second thing we did was, which I thought was really cool, we basically brought an uh, executive on stage in Brazil, and he was in New York. He came in on a big virtual wall. So it, because of SRT, we were able to send a, a really high quality signal, which they received in Brazil, and then they keyed it and put it on the wall. And this was pretty cool because you had some interaction. They was able to give a pound um, and he was able to talk and actually really look like he was there. What we did for this is we got the camera signal going to vMix and then we had that signal from vMix hitting another vMix in Brazil. And we had the vMix open and Zoom open to kind of coordinate logistics with the team in Brazil to make sure everything was on point. And from there, did a lot of tests and the executive got on stage. He did what he had to do for 30 minutes and we were done. Yeah, so my thoughts of SRT, after really understanding it, I'm like, this is some real powerful stuff because you can really do a whole private network, AKA, you know, bootleg sports games, AKA play movies and stuff and start your own private network of high quality video and nobody will never know. I mean, people could actually coordinate information and nobody would never know. I mean, you can create almost a whole YouTube and everything and give it just to people and you can protect who's watching it and screen them or you can kick them off. Like you can, all high quality information and you don't need to have a powerful information to, wa to watch it or you don't need to have powerful information, a powerful internet to send it. Yeah, some powerful stuff. It could take over the world. But I hope you learned something here today. That's what I do this for. So when somebody says something like some confusing thing like SRT, 
you're able to say, oh, I know what that is, and um, understand how to use it in real world application. If you want to learn the more complicated way of how it works, there's so many other videos online that will uh, tell you that. And uh, I hope this wasn't boring, and I hope you did learn something. That's what this is about.